Namaste, love and light, star seeds. I hope all is well with you guys. And y'all, my love, light, abundance, and prosperity. All day, every day. Now listen, y'all had people like so nosy. They was all in your business and they don't want to admit that they was in your business. But some of you guys, they're trying to say things like, oh, you know, spirit told me this. Spirit guided me to that. I didn't ask, you know, I didn't put this energy out there so I can receive it. Like spirit gave it to me, but it was all a lie. This person know they was snooping. I feel like this person know they was nosy. They was curious. And their curiosity led them to asking spirit questions. All right. And this person lied and made it seem like it was just spirit giving them info. And that was not the case. This person was actually snooping. And this is why this person is restricted from their gifts because they was using their gifts um, for, for evil, I'm getting. They will use their gifts to spy and snoop on people. And then... If they and, and it's like let's just say like the reading comes out in a way where this person see that whoever it is that they're spying on, okay, they see all right that that person is a good person. All right, well, I'm sorry, I'm I'm over here thinking of something else. Well, that too, but they see that this person is um happy. They see that this person, you know, is doing them. They got blessings coming in, and that's when that person will go ahead and like try to like block that blessing, block that happiness. All right, or even lie and switch up what they picked up from spirit. Like spirit, I feel like spirit, then I told y'all this in the past, I feel like spirit told whoever this karmic is the truth, all right, in the very beginning, and that's when this karmic started twisting up the truth and started saying lies and saying any good thing that they pick up about you was really about them and you are still in their energy, which was not even the case because they asked in spirit, you know, just that the third about you, all right, your energy going to come up. Only when they start picking up their own energy is if, or, or, you know, is when or if they keep asking the tarot or spirit the same question. And spirit's going to put that energy on you like, this is your problem. This has nothing to do with divine feminine. This is your issue. You keep asking the same questions. You need to heal yourself. You need to stop being so insecure. You feel powerless because you don't have the same power as divine feminine. So now you want to victimize divine feminine because she's more powerful than you. You want to say she's using her powers for bad. All right, and that was not even the case. This person was using their powers for bad. Yeah, this person is restricted from their gifts. They're not going to be able to tap in like how they were. All right, these could be four clairs. They're locked up. Okay, somebody may get locked up and they ain't going to have no bail money. All right, I'm getting whatever this person did to you, they deserve to be locked up. They deserve to go to jail. And I feel like this person was saying this about you, like you deserve to go to jail for whatever you try to do to them. But it was all lies and assumptions, illusions, imagination. A lot of you guys is like... Moving forward with your life with the will of fortune, all right, investing in your life, all right, if, if you do rituals, you're doing rituals on your will of fortune, this person was lying and saying that you was doing rituals on their life and in, and on their investments, and this is why you need to be locked up, this is what they said, they said you deserve to be locked up, they told that to somebody else, all right, this could be a, I'm getting a white woman, these could be white women, all right, White and black women, they going back and forth talking about you, saying how you deserve to be locked up, they're all fighting and arguing, over you and about you over what you have first of all some of these um mofos because i was picking up two karmics all right and i also picked up a download that the intuition is blocked that's why a lot of the stuff that i'm saying that they said is lies okay they was lied to it's either they made up these lies and they just said it was intuition to make people believe them or they was lied to by a sarcastic ass entity okay that wanted to fucking lie to them Okay, but um, these people was fighting over what's yours, okay? Like, and this is what I'm getting, like, these could be two witches, okay? One witch would be, like, one witch would be, like, oh, that's my third eye gift. You know, she took that for me. You know, I had witches say I, I came for them in a the past life. I took whatever was theirs in a the past life, you know? Like, that shit used to piss me off because it's, like, I would never do that. And even if, you know, that's the case, somebody took something from you in the past life, why are you making it your battle, your war to get it back this life? I'm like, spirit would never allow that shit to be set up like that. I said this before, like, spirit would never fucking tell you, 
you know, do a spell to get your gifts back. Do a ritual. Like, spirit would never tell you that, all right? Spirit would just do it themselves and tell you, like, hey, you know, they took from you in the past life, and, and this is why this is happening, but you got it back. That would never be the case. So whoever y'all was dealing with, they was definitely lying, Starseeds. They was lying on their divination, on spirituality. They were just lying as a whole. There was liars, and these people was fighting over yours. One which would be like, that's my third eye, and the other which would be like, no, that's mine. They both fighting over what's yours. It's like y'all was going through it. Like y'all was being energy harvest. Like these karmas was harvesting off of your energy. These karmas don't want to admit that they are energy harvesters. They was harvesting off of your energy. And yes, they was over here trying to gather up, meet up to try to lock you up. And that shit failed. You know what it did? It made them look like the stalkers. It made them look like the crazy folks. And it made them receive that threat of if you don't leave the situation alone, if you don't leave the divine feminine alone, you're going to jail. Because this is blatant stalking harassing over a fucking for some of you guys again like this all this started over a man that you don't even want no see they're just crazy in their mind they have they have insecurities all right they have insecure issues they're not healing themselves they don't love themselves so they come across a woman that loves herself and, and good and great they think that you with you with their man these women needs to heal. These toxic ass females need to heal so there can be unity in the divine feminine community. There's no unity because it's always too much backbiting, too much catty shit, too much drama. All right, you the queen of cups. You see, this is the thing. These motherfuckers was trying to protect themselves and restrict you from picking up whatever they trying to do to you behind your back. But they doing shit to you behind your back. So it's not fair to restrict you from knowing and seeing, but they're doing shit that they ain't supposed to be doing. They think in their mind, body, and spirit that it's right. But in actual reality, spirit is saying it's wrong. You can follow your ego, karmic, but I'm not allowing this to happen because it's wrong. This karmic thought they was right for the longest. Their ego had them thinking they was right. They thought they was more intuitive. That's ego. They thought they knew more. That's ego. That's not free-flowing energy. That's not higher self. That's they was all in ego, Stars, and they don't want to admit it. They, for some of you guys, these these witches feel like they're too high vibrational to be in ego. How would they know that if they can barely feel their the vibration that they're in? These karmics, they understand these karmics complain to one another and, and other people how they feel blocked intuitively and how they you know they don't feel like themselves and this is why they attacking you because they feel like you the reason why they feeling blocked you the reason why like, like i said they trying to protect themselves so you won't know what they're trying to do to you behind your back and you want to know why they doing these things to you because they feel like you're doing it they feel like you're jealous they feel like you all up in their energy you're judging them you're trying to be like them and that's not even the case you guys i'm getting you you're telling your story you're you're here online telling your story here and this could be like literally your story, a motivation story. These comments want to hold you back from doing that. These comments think they know everything about you. They think, for some of you guys, they think that you're stupid. And they're more smart than you. Again, ego. You never want to test another person's intelligence. You never want to try to, and I'm also getting this person trying to tell you about your life. That was another offensive thing. Them trying to tell you about your life and then trying to do magic on your life. Okay, a lot of you guys, y'all took a leap of faith towards your destiny, towards your nine of cups, your wishes. Whatever your wishes are, this is your dreams. You took a leap, and it worked for you. These karmics want to, you know, be in conflict with you, be argumentative, and be like, no, that's not for you. You made a mistake. I know you think that's what's right for you, but it's not right for you. You want to know why they say it's not right for you? Because you're the queen of cups, and you're able to pick up on their bullshit. And you have protection. I'm getting you have evil eye protection. Your third eye is protected against their evil eye. Your evil eye protects you. They don't like that you're protected. They don't want you to be protected so they can get you. That's that, that's them calculating on you. That's them cal calculating on you, Starseeds. Like, what the heck? They the devil, man. I'm telling you, all the energy that they were saying you... Okay. All the energy that they were saying that they was picking up from you and all the stuff you need to do with your life to fix it, that's really for them. They were speaking about them. Okay, Spirit is saying they were speaking from the heart, all right? Whatever they was feeling in their heart that they needed to tell you was really for them. They needed to tell themselves that. They're projecting, okay, because they don't want to see you shine. They don't want to see you do good. They don't want to see you in, in your prime energy, okay? That's your, 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 your highest, your peak, your primus. They don't want to see you in that energy. 
So they this they're definitely in a low vibration. They're definitely an ego. By them being argumentative, that's ego. That's not high vibration. You're arguing with someone, you're not in a high vibration. In order for you to like be in that argumentative energy and still maintain your frequency of vibration, you gotta know how to be balanced. This karmic ain't balanced, they can easily get cracked. The moment that you speak the truth, they're cracking it like, nah, that's a lie. That's a lie. I never said that. I never said that. Oh my god, oh my god, you remember when you said this? You said that this I know that you lying on me. Like they went crazy, y'all. They could really speak fast. That's how you know that their energy is being consumed by another entity. They're juggling. They're juggling at work or with work. Maybe money at work is, is scarce for them. They ain't really making money from their, their job or their business. They're juggling financially. They're juggling work-wise, work -wise too. And, and it's, it's karma. And they're stressing over karma. Your karmics are stressing over karma because it has activated for them. They don't like that. They want to say, it's you doing it. They told people that you're trying to send them karma. Certain people could have laughed at them because they like, no one can send you karma unless you did some shit. Like, did you do something to somebody? And they're like, no, I ain't do anything. You're just, they trying to say you're just crazy and stuff. But they're just crazy, man. Listen, you're blessed. I feel like, listen, you was protecting your ace of cups. This could be your children, your dreams, your spirituality. All right, your intuition, your blessings, all right, your spiritual connection. You guys were, were protecting that. You guys look within your cup and saw these motherfuckers trying to steal from you. And these motherfuckers switch it up and say, you tapping into their energy and making up lies on them. This person really switched the narrative. I'm telling you, whoever was the, the last man standing in, in, in this karmic battle going to have the worst fucking karma. That's the, that's, the, that's exactly what I'm getting. I feel like these, these two karmics were like the last man standing. They should have been left. They should have been walked away. But they were skeptical. They didn't trust you. Y'all was distant. Yeah, y'all wasn't talking much. But they were skeptical. They was like, mm, you know, I don't know what you're doing behind my back. How do I know you're not doing these things to me? Because, you know, they saying I have been, you know, juggling with work. You know, I have been up and down. So it got to be you because I ain't talking to you no more. And I don't trust you. And I see you doing good for yourself. You're able to maintain. I can't. So you got to be doing something to me. That was their connecting the dots, coming up with the blues clues. Y'all remember blues clues? That was their clues that they was writing in their handy dandy notebook. All right, they was sitting in their thinking chair, and they'd be writing all this shit in their handy dandy notebook, thinking that they connected the dots and clues, spirit, hand-printed a clue there, hand-printed a clue there. Y'all, I used to love blues clues as a kid, so yeah, I'm going to use that as an example. Bam, a handprint here, handprints in the sky, handprints on their plate, handprints everywhere. Well, Paul prints everywhere, giving them clues that is you tapping into their energies. All right, even though it's, none of that shit made sense, what, what they was trying to say. All right, and I feel like people who they was talking about you with that have sense knew better. They probably just, you know, showed this person compassion and empathy because they're like, well, you know, I never heard of that, but I'm not going to doubt it. You know, you seem distressed, so, you know, I'm going to, you know, comfort you and let you know it's going to be all right, but you don't have to worry. You get what I'm saying? Whatever this person was trying to say you was doing, you you not doing that. Okay, you are the high priestess. This is who, and the empress. This is, this is why they hate, and this is why they think that you stolen what is theirs. Because they can't believe that little old you is in this energy, and they've been... Trying to reach this point for like half their life, their whole life. I mean, all my life. <laughs> I can't think. All their life, they've been trying to be like you. All even past lives. This is a fan that incarnated and recycled with you. This is why they want to be like you because this is the energy that you are moving into. This is the blessings that's incoming. This is what you're protecting. This is a part of this ace of cups. You being the high priestess, this is your purpose. You being an oracle healer, you being an empress, you just being abundant, a mother, nurturing, all right, cosmic, nine of coins. This is your birthright. They all try to restrict you. Could have been up to four people, three to four people. They try to restrict you from your birthright. All right, and this is why they're losing their gift, okay? They can't restrict you from what's yours, your birthright. Look, and your spiritual soul connection with this two of cups, your spiritual union. They know and knew, all right, I'm getting they been new, all right, for some, of the, for some of you guys, the karmics know now, all right, that you are connected with someone sacred to you. You have a spiritual union. They know that there is someone meant for you. And these karmics try to 
stomp your person in the ground, to the ground. Have you use graveyard magic to do some weird shit to him and then try to put that on you and say that you doing that. Like, it's like you expose them for their crimes and they'll point at you and it's, and it's obvious that it ain't you. Why would you do that to your own person? But they'll be like, oh, you did that. Well, and I see they are as big and scared. Like, they just putting shit on you because they don't want to get in trouble. Remember I said yesterday, this is a child. They they get like this because they don't want to get in trouble. They feel like they in trouble now. So now they got to try to find a way to get out of it. They're not being adult. They're not taking accountability. You guys have really good cards. The only card I should say is, like, Iffy is this Four of Pentacles. And this is coming from the karmics. I don't know who was pulling cards on you, all right? But you get really good cards. And we always get good cards for you guys. All right, and this person is just a liar. All right, and any any bad cards that they was getting about you could be a warning that you're protected. All right, and or it's their energy and they and their question to they answer. I'm sorry, the answer to their questions already been answered. All right, so they don't need to ask tarot fifty fucking times. They don't need to go to a thousand psychics. They don't need to do any other divination. All right, they already got their answer. The answer is yes. You're blessed and highly favored. Yes, you are chosen. Yes, you are God's child. I keep telling y'all, listen, look at your king of cups, man. I'm here love and happiness. Look at you and your man. It's like I'm getting these karmas are trying to swap energies or frequencies between your man and some other karmic. All right? These karmas was conjuring zombies from the dead. Why are they wasting their time doing that? Why? When there's so much good energy out here, y'all, they, they can do so much better stuff. They want to play around with graveyard spells, and they wonder why they fucking schizophrenic bipolar. Psych psychotic suffering from psychosis every day you playing around with demons that have these low vibrational attachments to their crown your left and right side of the brain is bad but nonetheless your person love you y'all are meant to create happiness together your person know you a high priestess your person know who you are that's why he honors you these karmics want to try to keep you hidden but that's not going to work that, that energy being transmuted into exposure, sunlight, spotlight. Your light shall be exposed to the ones that will appreciate it because you are a blessing. Okay, and these karmics shall get exposed for being dark. Okay, we have the moon, the moon here. More good cards. Okay, this is your intuition. I feel like you intuitively know that these dark mofos do a moon magic spells at night to suppress you because you the impress. And you know that they was doing it because they don't want you to be the impress. This motherfucker was trying to say that was, the, that was oh my God, I got to stop cursing. I have to stop cursing. All right, this mofo try to say that that is what you was doing. You know that they the Empress High Priestess, and you trying to... This person try to use an excuse of they've been spiritual longer, all right, or they've been doing something longer. They, they've been with someone longer first, so that's why, you know, whatever is chosen for them is for them, or whatever is they think is right is right. But this person try to say you know... How, you know what's set was set up for them was meant for them you really don't i don't i i don't see anything set up for this person this person needs to like make life you know make life what they want to make it all right i always tell y'all like y'all listen there's a person booking readings with me on my live personals asking me about love and money and then i would tell the person you need to manifest what you want and I also said, don't talk to nobody right now. Be focused on self-love. They're like, well, I just wanted to know what's coming in for me with love and money. You know, I don't really care about all that extra stuff. But don't get a reading for me, all right? Because if you ain't putting in the work for you to receive any lump, any type of lump sum of money, you're not going to get that in your read. Spirit don't work that way. Miracles don't work that way. Okay? If you're not, you know, worrying about love, why are you going to love reading and see what love coming in? If you're not working on self, don't expect for me to say your twin flame is on the way because he's not going to be on the way. If you're not working on yourself, your twin flame is not coming. He is not going to integrate into your reality. So when a reader do tell you manifest some fucking money, excuse my language again. If a reader tell you manifest some money, all right, or if a reader is telling you, heal yourself. All right, because because no man is coming in. You need to do that instead of trying to say the reader is bad. All right, because I felt her energy. And it's like, I don't care because she most likely was an op working for someone else. All right, but then I'm sick of that shit. I'm sick of doing readings for ops because y'all aren't ready. All right, but it's it's okay because I'm knowing how to handle it now. And I'm going to start cursing people out. Okay, but um, what I was about to say is, is that this person ain't putting in the work. <clears throat> that they need to, to, to they ain't putting the necessary work that they need to so they can maintain this impressed energy the high priestess energy the ace of cups the queen of cups 
All right? They're still in the four of pentacles. Restricted. And, 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 and I'm getting short. Okay, because you know with the with the four of pentacles, this is someone that don't have, like, they're penny pinching. All right, I'm getting short change. Like, I'm getting their energy is short. Like, their frequency is, like, small. There we go. Small energy. They have small energy. Okay, it's small. All right, and this person really don't have much energy to give out to people. All right, they may say that they have all this healing energy to give out, and they really don't because... If so, they won't be doing all this extra spiritual work on you. All the spells and stuff. Like, even if they know somebody doing some shit to them, they don't have to do a fucking spell. They don't have to do none of those things. All right, I feel like you're way more intuitive than these karmics. I feel like you know what your future holds. It's, and it's behind that is happiness. You know what your future is, 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 is about. You know what you're coming into. Happiness. These karmics want to say No. That's that's coming to an end. You're going to die. Like, they was really trying to threaten your life. Make you feel like you're going to die and stuff. These karmics don't know you're divine masculine. All right? They know that you're meant to be with one, but they don't know who he is in the, in the physical. They don't know who, how he look like. You get what I'm saying? They just don't know. Yeah, and I feel like they try to block your destiny, try to block your stardom. It's like people try to, like, talk ish about you, and, and, and I guess apparently that's supposed to affect you, and it don't affect you the way that these karmics want, and they get more mad. Like, they're demons. Okay, okay a lot of these karmics are demons, man. Listen, and they're confused. They're confused about who they are. That's why they, they like to come up, they like to go against, come against, I would say come against. Like, they like to come up against us, go again, like, come up to us and go against us, like, and it's because we're divine. And we reflect or mirror the energy that they don't have. So they like to challenge us. I challenge you to a duel. And if I win, I take take what makes you intuitive. I take what makes you destined for greatness. And it's your, listen, it's your gifts, it's your blessings. You don't have to, you know, wage your gifts and blessings and, and bargain it just to prove that you're more special than this person or this person needs to know how to manifest. All right, because they're stagnant right now. These karmics are stagnant. They will just say rude stuff and make you feel like, you know, like, like they'll be nasty to you and make you feel like, you know, you was wrong. Like, if this is definitely about intuition, they're trying to, like, they will purposely say stuff, oh, you was wrong about this, you was wrong about that, just to make you feel bad. But it's like, you didn't care. Like, you're not going to be right about everything. In their mind, they like, you're a psychic, you got to be right about everything. But it's not, it don't, psychic gifts don't work like that. Like, you know, first of all, Honestly, I feel like these people were just saying that you was wrong just to be funny. You probably was right, all right? Or, you know, they just making the shit up, all right? But one thing about psychics, like, you got to maintain your energy. So if a psychic energy is low, she's not going to pick up on all that high vibrational stuff or he, all right? If these are psychics, they low-class psychics. They the type of psychics that you go to when you want to find out if your man cheating. They can they can pick up the cards and, and, and understand what spirit trying to say. But this is not a psychic you go to when it comes down to, like, Akashic Records and... You know, life purpose, because they're going to be telling you about their life purpose. They're going to be telling you what it is that, that they they should have done. Even if it's innocent, all right, they feel like they're channeling spirit. Is They're going to just mirror their own energy here, all right? But with this nine of cups, I'm getting these karmics was confused about your dreams. They were trying to cut you from your dreams. Your dreams of being, um, I guess, a high priestess, an empress, earth angel here, you know, an entrepreneur. They were trying to crush that. They was confused. I feel like a karmic was conjuring up a whole bunch of confusion and then sending it out there to spread lies and rumors on you. All right? This could be, like, blogs, articles. Like, somebody was, like, telling the blogs and articles shit, all right, that was not even true just to ruin your four wands, your stability, your marriage, your household. All right? This is you manifesting a lot of success. And, look, they was against that. I told y'all. And they was in the background trying to spill fake tea on you. Plotting and planning and judging was called. This whole group got exposed. It was a whole group. They all got exposed up to three to five. They all got exposed. All right, for spying on you, doing witchcraft, black magic here, and, and doing spell work on your divine masculine, trying to hide his crown. They all receiving karma for messing with divine earth angels, you and your person. They're hanged for lying on the earth angel. They, you Listen, you don't lie on the earth angel. That's karma. That's karma, especially if you maliciously lying. You know you lying just to set up this earth angel. You don't do that, nah. And you guys are still gifted heading towards your new beginning. This ace of pentacles is yours. All right, for some of you guys, I'm getting, it's a mystery. I'm getting a mystery box. Some of y'all sell mystery boxes. That's cool. Okay, I remember I, I came up with that. I, well, I won't say I came up with it, but I put that 
I put like an idea out there in the cosmos way before I was like taking, you know, my purpose seriously in the sense of like making it my nine to five. <laughs> okay. And I remember I told my mom, like, I want to create boxes or right? I want to create boxes where I'll put like different blah, blah, blah inside of it. And then someone I know came out with a box and then another reader came out with a box and then this other person came with a box. And I'm like, you know what? I actually put this energy out there into the 4D and people are utilizing it. And, you know, I was like, I think that's pretty cool. And I said, by the time I'm ready to put out my boxes, you know, the energy could have cooled down and I'll make it a, a trend again. <laughs> okay. But I mean, all the people done boxes, but I mean, in my collective group, I put that energy out there and people that I didn't know of or familiar with was coming out with boxes, not too long after I put that idea out into the cosmos because I was going to do it, but I wasn't going to do it now or at that time. So you know, I'm not a jealous person. My heart is not set up like that. I have too much. God, you know, gave me too much. You know, he, you know, he made me with too much. Like, in a sense of all my relics and all that come from Father God because I earned it. You know, my, this is from my mistress and quests and honor and stuff like that. And even from, like, you know, Mother Universe. Like, I'm good. Like, I'm equipped. I don't need to be jealous of anybody. I know I'm a master manifester. I'm a master generator. I can generate what the hell I need. And I can manifest what I want. I don't need to be jealous, but, you know, I was just like, that's just so funny. I told my mom, like, isn't that funny? Everybody else coming up with boxes now. So, it, it was just meant for them to do it, not me at the time. All right? And it's st I'm still not ready yet. All right? I'm still not ready to open my shop. I will open shop soon, but just not now. I know y'all see me make candles and oils, and y'all like, why are you not selling those? I'm not ready. I don't even have time for production right now to, like, production. <laughs> I don't know. I don't even mean to say it like that, but I don't have time to, like, create products and then ship them out all right and i need to get a po box there's a lot of things that i need to do that i'm still integrating my business and it's like i don't know why i had karmic trying to slow my business down but y'all thinking oh she's gonna do this she's gonna do that and i'm not even ready to do all those things yet and in your fucking i'm i keep cursing and your stupid effing mind okay you're like oh you know she's trying to be like me or she's trying to do this and, and it's, it's i don't know what they're thinking all right well I know, but in a sense of, like, I don't know, like, if it's one track or, you know, they thinking this and then that. Like, it's kind of hard to, like, tell because their mind is always all over the place. But my whole thing is, like, the cars are trying to stop me from doing all these things and putting myself out there for my business. It's like, I'm not even ready. Y'all trying to say that I'm not ready, and I know I'm not ready, you know, and I'm not ready because of my material life i need to manifest the items and stuff i need in the 3d not my spiritual stuff ain't ready clearly i am if i'm making these products all right it's me needing to buy products and 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 start the you know keep the ball rolling i'm gonna have my kids help me prepare some of the um candles and oils because they like to you know mix it up with me and stuff like that and um i gotta come up with logos there's so much stuff i have to do it's not something that can happen overnight if you're not prepared. And I'm grateful that spirit is not pressuring me to do these things. And what I'm doing now is is great. I'm content with it. And I will put more energy out there. I feel like I'm doing good. I feel like I'm doing really good so far. Anybody that wants to judge and be like, I feel like you should do more. I feel like you should do more. I remember I said, uh, Karmic, since they know everything, they should go on Patreon. All right, or you Demi and start, you know, put, putting shit out there. You know, since they know so much, they need to put out a business class and teach people how to fucking start a business if they got so much business advice. But they don't want to do that because they don't believe in themselves. You know what I mean? So y'all could have been dealing with those type of karmics too That t that's telling you how to, you know, utilize your b blessings, how to utilize your crown, how to utilize your scepter of abundance, all right, with that impress. All right, but they don't know how to do that for themselves. They the four fucking pinnacles. You hear you hear their story. They got all these damn problems that they don't know how to erase out of their life. But with you, they got all these answers and 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 and, and resolutions and, and solving of the problems with your problems like it, it, it make it make sense please all right but you guys are moving on towards peace this is a part of your life this is your destiny peace you're meant to be in peace you guys literally moved on from these slow people slow processors these people have a slow process of getting their heart somebody heart could be beating slow slowing down wow excuse me or somebody could be slow mentally slow they have a mental block these people would like and this is why they can't get their lives together and they don't have to be like 
them can't read or write or they don't know the ABCs. No, it's, it's like they can't get it together in their mind. They're scattered brain. They think too much. They're distracted. You had to get away from these people that were slow. They were slowing you down. Their aura was slowing you down. Yes, these people from your past. Their aura was slowing you down. They, their aura was slowing you down. Now you guys get to move. You guys are moving towards your heaven on earth. This is you guys could actually be physically moving to new land, new places. It's like this is you moving, moving forward. You guys are moving forward here, forward movement. All right, this is like a part of your gift, your prize. And you guys are happy. I see y'all manifesting a child here. Child coming out of this cup. All right, this is coming. This cup, with, I'm getting like your womb. <laughs> All right, this baby coming out of your womb here. These karmics may know that. And they was hating on the fact that you are going to manifest another child. But some of you guys, they feel like you don't need any more kids. That's none of their business. They're not taking care of the kids that you have now. Or they ain't going to take care of any kids that you want to incarnate. You have none. So they shouldn't worry about what more kids that you have. No, these people want to reject the fact that they're stagnant. They want to reject their spirituality and go towards black magic. Somebody want to reject God and went towards black magic, and now they got to go towards. It's like they let they they turn their back on God just to turn right back around and go to God. All right, and God is making them suffer right now because they are karmic. They getting their ass whooped. Okay, they getting their ass whooped, y'all. Let's see anything else, spirit, anything. Look, the lovers, you're chosen. It felt right on top of the two of cups. You're chosen to be with this person. I don't know why they keep lying and saying you're not chosen to be with them. You're chosen to be with somebody else. It's like you can't trust these people to tell you about your life path. They doing life path readings or or reading your life path number. You can't trust them to tell you what you should do with your life. These people aren't real mentors or real life coaches or whatever like that. All right, because I just heard life coach. They're trying to be a life coach in your life. No, man. They, listen, they need a life coach themselves, and they don't need to get any karmic that's here. You don't need to get mad because I said that. All right, you know it's true. You know you carry heavy-ass energy. That's why ain't shit working out for you, and it's because of the dumb shit you do, man. Got nothing to do with us over here. You need to start thinking smarter, all right, and being more wise, taking more wiser actions. Y'all taking these things elementary kindergarten ass actions thinking y'all collecting all the dots thinking this shit is blues clues you are not on no adventure to collect the dots and figure out who destroyed your life in a past life i had I told you i had karmics i was like that and I, I have a strong feeling your karmics are like that with you too they just keeping it silent but they're looking at you like i got a reading done and, and, and my reading said you just you killed me in a past life so i'm here to get revenge why would you want that to be your purpose the purpose of revenge all right, this karmic is not on no journey to find out who destroyed what in a past life. This karmic not even strong enough to take you down. They need a team. What makes them think they're strong enough to take down anybody else that did something to them in the past life? And some of these karmics dealing with demons and entities and shit. So how, like, that, that could have destroyed whatever they had going on. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, how, how are you here to, to destroy that entity? You, unless you was born possessed. And, and if you born possessed, you won't even know none of You won't even know of tarot. You know, like, honestly, what possessed person you know know about tarot cards? They running from tarot because it was just possessed by a demon. So these cards are just liars. You see how, as I explain stuff, you know, it just, it's like, it starts to make sense. And you realize that these cards really wasn't making any sense behind the shit that they were saying. They're realizing that they don't make no damn sense. Listen, they need to put, you don't have a twin flame, you don't have a lover, you're not meant to be married to, to, to rest. How they know you ain't meant to be married? How can they tell if a person is meant to be married or not? How can they say that? Alright, how can they say that? This is another reason why you stop effing with them, you complete that cycle, because they were just negative. Every time you would say, hey, look, I got an idea, they'd be like, nah, heal first. Spirit say you need to heal for the next 15 years. Because you, you really powerless and you're vulnerable. So you think that you got all these powers and you don't. And then you ask them, well, how am I vulnerable? And they be like, well, when, when you go within, you know, that's when you will see. They're not even telling you why you're vulnerable. They're telling you to go within. And then when you go within, you start to see that it's this motherfucker trying to restrict you. You had no idea they're trying to trick you and you feel bad. You feel bad for yourself for, for getting tricked. And then when you separate from them, all of a sudden you this witch, warlock, evil high priestess. Past life, past multiverse, past all these things. Like, shut up. A lot of these karmics try to be like us oracles who tap into the past life. And we ain't tapping into the past life saying stuff like, oh, 
you took this from me. So now I go ahead and do a spell to get it back. No, you know what spirit is going to do? Spirit is going to do. Well, what spirit is going to do is show us what happened. Let us know this is what they did and this is why they're doing it now. But guess what? You got your power back. You had it back when you incarnated. Because we got the shit back in the last lifetime. They just came this lifetime thinking that they're going to get revenge and get whatever they took from you back. Some of these karmas just want revenge. That's why they will make it their purpose to get back at you. But it's just, you always have a choice. All right? You always have a choice, okay? And you can alter your destiny. Unless it's predetermined, then you can't. If these karmas fill in their heart, it's their destiny to go after those who destroyed their past life. That's affecting their lifetime now. They asses need to reevaluate and choose a better destiny and let the past go. All this past life shit. I ain't saying shit wrong. It's y'all karmic still mad. Saying, oh, she talked about the past life. And, you know, I have a feeling that, you know, she'll talk about me. And, you know, that she talked for me in the past life. That's why, you know, I'm, I don't have nothing now. So, you know, I'm about to go get a black candle. I'm telling you, that's how the karmics was operating. I can't make nothing up on these damn karmics. I personally had karmics do that shit to me. And and y'all know y'all karmics did the same. For some of y'all, they ain't saying shit about a past life. Because they know that shit gonna make them look crazy. Like, what do you mean a past life? Like, leave the past in the past. It only matters if it's affecting you now. So if you pick up that these karmics from your past life, then yes, your past is affecting you. You need to get them out of your life. You don't do spells to get back at them for what they did to you. You get them out of your life. You don't do a spell to kill somebody to get them out of your life. You just kick them out. You can literally just be like, spirit, remove this person. Remove my enemies. And that's it. You don't got to curse or hex somebody along the way. That's just petty. And useless. And useless, I mean. <laughs> all right? And, just, and, and, and it's not necessary. It's not helpful for the cosmos. Because we're all connected. This person is not helping anything but themselves. They, they think they're helping themselves, but they're really worsening themselves. These people are dumb. They feel dumb. They should feel dumb. Instead of trying to come after you and say your crown is dumb, your blessings is dumb, everything about you is dumb being a fucking kid. That's why I bought a blues clues. All right, because they was being a kid. They had nothing else better to say besides you dumb. All right, instead of, like, they, they feel dumb. You don't need to feel dumb. You was right. They want to make you feel dumb because you was right. Your intuition was on point. Of course you want to know. Don't do spells on people. And I'm getting this person was so mad that you know it just tempted them to do Spell work on you even more to find out if you're going to know about this or know about that. That's how you know that they fucked up, man. I keep cursing. That's how you know that they are effed up, man. Spirit, please, please protect me from cursing. Just block it from my crown, from it coming out. Let me catch myself. All right, but that's how you know they effed up, man. Like, honestly, and I'm getting their forgetful. They're, they're just, I'm getting... They're purposely forgetting stuff, and, and some stuff they really did forget. I told y'all this yesterday, a karmic is forgetting. I keep turning this down, the more louder it gets. All right, a karmic is um forgetting the stuff that they said. And the energies are very sensitive, too, starseeds, like I told y'all. So, um, y'all may end up forgetful, too. And plus, you're going through ascension symptoms. Certain things is being erased from your mind, okay? Universe is like, let it go. It's not serving you. You you completed this cycle successfully, and you entered a new successful cycle. And I feel like you're overly confident in the fact that this new cycle is going to be confident. I mean, it's going to work out. And it's not wrong being overly confident. I feel like the karmic had an issue because you was confident. They even, they could even try to say you're overly confident. No, you're just not confident enough. My my confidence is 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 bestowing power that you can't take. That's the part of my life that's irritating your damn demons. Karmic, I can't. This karmic had a problem with your confidence. It was almost like you you think you're more confident than me. I'm gonna show you who's more confident. Like y'all, only a crazy person would think like that. And understand, this karmic was thinking like that. They was in competition with your confidence. But that's why they was trying to, like, if, if if this resonates for you, this part. That's why they was trying to put on, like, they have more than you and try to put on, like, they're doing more, you know, and that they have more power and all this. And that was them in competition. They, if they, listen, they claimed they didn't know. Well, I guess they just wasn't aware of the fact that they was doing shit that was making them look competitive. I know his hat be crooked, y'all. I know his hat be crooked. Look, you know the truth. 
And that's what they hate. They hate that you are the truth. Other people could have said that you the truth, and this karmic hated it. They hated to hear other people say, yeah, you the truth. I picked up good energy from you. You're not a liar. They hated it because they expected people to be like, yeah, you evil. Let's kill her. Let's do a spell to murder her. Let's send a demon to kill her. That's what this karmic wanted to hear. They wanted you dead. And this is the type of karmic, this is the type of person that this karmic is. They the type to want to kill somebody, want them dead, evil on them because they in a, a, a brighter light than you. This is why you had to get them out of your life. Starseeds, understand this. And, and this karmic trying to say, I would have never did this to you if we were still friends or we were still lovers or, you know, if you ain't do this and you ain't do anything. This person just invasive and codependent. All right, and they're trying to like reject that, but like I said, it's that that that's how they are, and, and there's energy on them. I feel like they feel rejected compared to you. Like you rejected them, and they feel some type of way. It's like you're a real queen. You're really a queen here, okay? And this person, you excuse me, they feel some type of way about you rejecting them, but you have every right to say no. And this karmic has to follow your orders because you are queen. This karmic ain't no damn queen. If they was going around saying, I'm queen. I'm like, literally, if that's the case, this person is feeling guilty now and ashamed because they know that they're not queen. They have to first earn that, that title of queen. And they have to first, you know, actually rule. They never had no type of time of rulership back in ancient times. And listen, they're not a leader now. Us light workers and, and earth angels are leaders. All right? One brother said this, and it's true. The tarot readers and light workers and stuff are the new celebrities. Straight up, I said this too, that the Egyptians were celebrities. They were. Now, why do you think they're still popular and known today? They was, they was celebs for healing. It's physics, science, you know, math. That's what's real. That's what really matters. You know what I'm saying? But, um, and another brother said, and I, I told y'all, I don't think I told y'all this, but I'm told myself this, okay? I haven't felt the government in power since 2020. And he said that the government been going since 2020. I'm telling y'all, I have not felt the government since that time. You know, I will have conversations, all right, with my person. And then I'll just be like, I'll be like, listen, like, honestly, I don't even feel the government. Honestly, I just feel all this shit is just like a, a period or timeline that we are completing. Like, I'm almost seeing like this timeline is not even that we're in. It's like not even real. Like it's covered up by an illusion to make us think that we're still caught up with society. But really, some other stuff is going on. That's why you can tell like some of the energy around us is just not matching. Well, some of the energy that we're feeling or stuff like that it ain't really matching. All right, what's really going on? That's what I'm picking up, if that makes sense. But it's like, don't get me wrong, like the, the collapse is definitely a part of this, this you know, this cycle here. But... And spirit is just showing me, like, there's just certain things that just don't add up that don't match, okay? And we need to be the ones to, like, scope it out and connect the dots to know what is, like, an illusion, all right? And, and what's a part of the matrix and what's, like, real, okay? Because as this, uh, this 3D collapse, the matrix illusion is breaking, all right? The, the matrix that um this 1% created, all right? But... Yeah, I feel like they also hating because of your wisdom. I feel like they also hating because of your wisdom, your spiritual wisdom. You're gifted and you're honest. You're pure. You're channeler. This is why they. It's like they had to walk away from you. They got nothing on you, man. All right, they had nothing on you. Okay, they could have walked away from a debate. They know that they ain't got nothing on you here. Somebody feels really insecure. All right, and sad. All right, they feel really insecure around you. This could be a masculine here with the emperor or somebody really controlling. They was trying to like. First of all, somebody was doing mind control spells on your masculine, and somebody was also doing spell work to slow your masculine intelligence down. This is a dummy. All right, and I feel like um, your masculine is like, wait, no, your ex-masculine could feel like very insecure when he's around you, like I said. All right, this could be someone very, like, controlling, all right, That's um that does magic and they think real small, all right. They think, like, you know, their manipulation with words is, is strong enough to, like, fool a person. Y'all don't be realizing it's already 44 minutes. Wow. I wasn't going to make this so long. Some of y'all could be a Sag. Let's see. Look, success. Look, you guys feel it in your gut, your mind, body, and spirit that you're meant to be successful. You're meant to be a millionaire. And this karmic was trying to ruin that. 
They was. They like, you about to be a millionaire, not while I'm here standing on this earth. That's what they said. And I'm seeing them getting ran over in Paris. Like, this person pretty much asked for them to get removed off this earth because they said that you are not going to be successful as long as they walk in this planet. Remember, I told you, universe, all right? Mama universe said that you shall receive success. It's ordained, okay? It was chosen for you, handpicked and chosen, all right? Not just God chose this for you, but also Mama Universe. And this karmic don't understand how those two can work together. They are, they believe in either universe or God. It can't be both. They're stupid. All right. But um, anyway, I told you Mama Universe was like, you have to receive it. This is ordained. It's in the stars. It's in the stars. Rather, you put it there. God put it there. Or it was already there in the universe's womb. You're destined for it doesn't even matter how it got there it, it, it shouldn't matter to this karma what should matter to them is that it's yours and they should leave you alone all right and by them saying some wicked shit like as long as they walk in this planet you're not going to receive success they just ask for them to fucking get removed off this planet they ask to get removed off this planet here you a star you chosen and destined for greatness now they're trying to say you a star you chosen you don't got to do all of this you can do so. This is what they really wanted to say. You could, I say you doing so much more with your life. Like, you could do this. You could, Like I said, they try to tell you how you should, you know, live your life. But I feel like they said it in such a nasty, narcissistic way. They really meant to say it in this nice tone. But they were so jealous and evil and cold-hearted that they didn't know how to channel that sweetness well. You know, they it's like this new age is blocking people from being fake. They can't be fake no more. They probably thought that they was being real. When they told you that, when shit, that's probably the realest that they'll ever get, all right? Because they was even afraid to tell you about your life, okay? But they try to come off as nice, but it, it's like they was really just being rude and nasty, and you felt like it was just, just to be rude. It wasn't really nothing like anything pertaining to you. It was just like projection, how they feel about their life and the mistakes they made, they don't want they don't want the other people to make that mistake. But what's what worked for you, what didn't work for you might work for me. Or maybe we just not reciprocal toward for each other. Towards each other. We don't mix. Alright, we don't balance here. But now they're trying to say that you're a star. You chosen. And they see all this stuff, great stuff for you. That tell them to just to shut up and sit down. You don't need their help. Alright, you took a leap of faith. Towards your destiny here. And these karmas wanted to say you did it backwards, but you actually did it right. All right, and they're nervous. They're nervous of you being in this energy. All right, they're nervous of you being in this energy here. I feel like, honestly, this person, they skipped over you. Because I'm seeing this person trying to come after you. And they skipped over you and, and ended up in the Nine of Wands. They the fool. All right? And I see two blessings coming in for you guys for taking this leap of faith. A lot of y'all did not know. For a lot of you guys, your destiny is still following you guys. These karmas just wanted to blindside you. All right. Now, this is the last one. Look, you heading towards the future. I don't know where this karmic is going. All right, I'm seeing them walking towards the graveyard. Yeah, the karmic was doing graveyard matter. They was conjuring using graveyard dirt or actually conjuring at the graveyard. And, and them entities is on them. They're in their stomach. They can feel it. All right, yeah, look, you're, listen, you're a divine earth angel, temperance, you're protected. Your protectors told the demons, go back. Send it back. And this is even God saying, send it back. I told y'all this in the past. This shit has to end. Send it back. It has to end. Whoever was sneaking in the graveyard, send it back. Give it back to, receive, send it back to sender. This is like them receiving their spell back. This karmic can't understand how can, uh, uh, uh. A uh, earth angel send this back? Like, I don't get how they, they, this person don't understand how you can send stuff back. Maybe this person was doing spells so you won't be able to send it back. All right, because you are earth angel that can do bad to senders. All right, what I'm also getting, this card is trying to say you don't have a right to do that, but they stupid. They don't have a right to do what they're doing. 
All right, but um, with this temperance here, this is also your divine protector saying, send it back. This is also God here. God is coming up. Like, I don't know why I'm getting God with the temperance. All right, oh, yeah, God. Okay, yes, yes, thank you, spirit. God told the angels, God told his angels to send it back. And that's exactly what the spirit, the, the spirits or the angels did. They were just following God's orders. So this mad, this karmic is, is mad at their magic, mad at the spirits or whatever. They, they need to take their issues up with the most high because he was the one who said send it back. And universe too. But I'm picking up God right now. We'll get into that scenario once I see universe pop up again. I mean, because they all work for the great mother. And the end of great father, too. Look, these karmas know they ain't got nothing on you. They know they need to go and sit down and be in the hermit and, and do some healing work. Because all the shit that they did was unnecessary and they, and they lied. All right? They was lied to or they lied on you. Both. Virgo energy. Look, this is people from your past. Could be two people or more. They need to heal. Your past karmics need to heal. They came back onto this lifetime not because to destroy people who destroyed their past lives. They came back this lifetime to heal from their past. All right, their past came back to haunt them. Their past came back to deal with them because their past is the reason why their spirit is where it is today. They may have material things. They may have more than you material-wise, but spiritually they lack, which is why they're not happy. All right, there's a lot of people that can have way more than you, but if they're not happy in spirit, they're going to be miserable in the house. They're going to be miserable in that new car. They're going to be miserable with that new purse. They're going to be miserable with their red bottoms. They're going to be miserable with their, with their new phone. They're going to be miserable. A miserable spirit comes from not healing that spirit. These karmics are miserable, and they came here from a past life, all right, to heal their past and to clear their karmic debt. This is a karmic realm. Well, a realm of karma. All right, karma is here. Karma follows you. It's polarity. So it's like you're not just here just to fulfill a purpose. You're also here to do healing work, fulfill other missions, clear your karmic debt. Okay? Yes, page of wands. Yes. This person was confused about what they came on this planet to do, like their purpose. Like I said, for some of you guys, they literally thought that they was here to destroy those who took from them in a the past life. Like, you stupid. All right, you stupid. All right, because it's like you, if you fucked up this lifetime, oh, I keep cursing. If you messed up this lifetime, okay, <laughs> if you messed up this lifetime, start, um, if any karmic, wait, no, you, if you messed up last in, in, in a past life, all right, it's because of your actions, okay? You need to change how you are, who you are. Wait, I really need to stop cursing. I'm, I'm, I'm working on it. These karmics wanted to prove how, like, spirit is not around you because spirit is not around them and they know it. Yeah, and that's stressing them out every day, how spirit is not. They need to just let spirit go, all right? Because spirit is not working with them because of the energy that they put out there. And the energy that's coming towards them, spirit want no parts of it, honestly. Spirit want no parts of it. Yeah, they was doing rituals, all right? Doing rituals to conjure. Listen, and they got a whole bunch of devils on them. Them devils is all, I can't make it up. They like facing the devil right now. And for a lot of you guys, that devil is their, is their self. Look, they're depressed, all right? They feel like they betrayed themselves, all right? They, they want to move over. They want to move over. They want to push forward, move on, but they can't, okay? I'm telling you, they was, they was, they was karmic in a past life, and they was confused about their, their past life, starseed. Why is the six of um, cups here? I, this person may felt like they was destined for for greatness or some type of fortune, but they never received it, and I don't feel like they ever will because they their karmic debt is just too is too big. It's like <clears throat> their blessings is paying off that karmic debt. But I should say whatever those blessings, whatever those meant for them, that's being removed, and is and is is and is. It's like it has to be removed that karmic debt clear because most likely a lot of their fortune is stolen anyway. All right, they thought this one incarnate here was stolen fucking fortune. All right, but nah. All right, eight of wands here. This is you guys just moving forward. All right, y'all could have communicated with these people from your past recently and it was a big ass mistake. All right, because you ended up picking up a lot of their energy. And that's why you don't need to pick, that's why you don't need to talk talk with them because it's like you are like a vacuum you collect a lot of negative energy and you can transmute it but sometimes it just be too much you can't be transmuting all that energy for days all right you got other stuff to do so stay away from these people you can't heal them their energy is too dense all right they try to lock you up for being a spiritual earth angel wow and god said no god said send it back 
And that's what happened. The Jezebel got her magic sent back. And it caused a tower in her life, in her home. And she don't like it. Shit, I didn't like the fact that she was doing all this shit to you guys. I know y'all ain't like it. All right? So, that's you do dirt, you get dirt. All right? Simple as that. They over here stressing over your stardom because they know that they can go to spiritual jail. They know that they broke laws. They know they broke the spiritual laws. They know they spoke, broke the spiritual rules. They did not follow order. They did not follow... Whatever spirit told them to do, they were all in their head thinking like, you know, this is it. This is the one who I got to kill to get my life back. All right? And look, they end up getting caught up by God and universe. Surprise. It's shocked and surprised that universe didn't work in their favor. They're, and they could be mad, too. They should be mad at themselves for doing some fuck shit. Oh, my God. For doing some nonsense. <laughs> all right? Look, this is someone that is a toxic lover. All right? They love you today and hate you tomorrow. They're full of drama. All right, I feel like they desire you, but they're toxic, okay? They desire you, but they're toxic. This could have been a third party witch that they was dealing with. All right, look, you are of high value. I feel like you value yourself more than this toxic relationship. This could even be a friendship. You value, value yourself more, all right? So you're not worrying about it. You, It's like they got caught up for doing something they wasn't supposed to do, and, and, and down they need to move on. They don't need to keep snooping to figure out what else you're doing. All right, they're like snooping and then fighting with themselves because it's like they know the intuition was wrong. Like, it scares them because it makes them realize that they do have demons in their head. All right, yeah, they think of you constantly, be crying, stuck in the past, missing you. All right, somebody's looking at your pictures, missing you here. They feel real guilty and ashamed. Somebody was doing picture magic and they feel guilty and ashamed. Y'all, my stomach feel nauseous. Somebody is feeling nauseous. Somebody is sick. Yeah, y'all making it rain right now. I feel like y'all manifesting abundance. I feel like you're a manifest you're you manifesting abundance is making this demon sick. This is bad. They have a whole demon in them that's making them fi fucking sick because you manifesting money. Y'all, I know I keep cursing. At this point, I'm just done. All right, legal legal matters in your favorite unexpected money slash promotion entrepreneur. They could be hating because you're an entrepreneur. All right, this person's a liar. They lied on you. Just to ruin your life. And this is what's hurting them. This is why they're crying, depressed, pain, and sorrow. Because they lied on you just to ruin your life. And now they want to try to reconcile, but you don't trust them. Wow. They lied on you just to ruin your life. And for some of you guys, they probably thought that whatever whatever the, whatever the lie was was real. But then they was told after the fact that it wasn't, and they still kept going. So this is why they're dealing with a lot. Netflix and chill, sneaking around, friends with benefits, spending time with someone else. I feel like I'm spending time with someone else. All right, with that friends with benefits, I'm just getting friends. Like, this could have been friends doing this to you, trying to block what you got manifesting. You told them the wrong business. I feel like y'all could be spending time with someone else, though. Y'all left someone who's hitting rock bottom. It's almost like somebody is facing hella karma, okay? They facing a lot of spiritual legal issues. Their life falling apart. It's even be them going to jail, like I said. And you focusing on Netflix and, and chilling with someone new. All right? And I feel like these people chose not to follow Christ, the Most High. They chose to follow the devil. And this is what they get. All right? Somebody chose a third party over you. All right? And they got them caught up in a whole bunch of controversy because the, the third party is just lying, 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 lying. The child support, she's lying to everybody I'm getting. All right? And that's what I'm picking up. This man could have a baby with this third party here. Okay? But, you know, you fed up, and that's why you left, all right? Opposites attract here. All right, these people were just karmic lessons. Mm -mm, their negativity was just too much, y'all. They just had too much negativity. Let me get one more. Spirit, yeah, they played too much mind games. They did. Just to test you and to analyze you. They was very immature. The part of their lives was a part of their mind games. And now they're thinking about popping up to your house. Reaching out to you. I'm getting Patreon. Some of you have a Patreon. Alright. Somebody want to reach out to you on Patreon or some shit like that. Alright. If y'all have a Patreon, you have new souls on the on the way. Yeah, look. The karmic is fighting with, with whoever else. That's why they want to leave their home and come to you. They can't do that. This could be a friend fighting with her man and now she want to come to your house. No more. No. Nope. No, no, no. She was playing like a meetup. Alright. Because she needs someone to talk to about her, her her man or some shit or whoever else. No, you, listen, it's fair and it's fake. You gave her too much of your time and energy. Now she wants to reconcile. Uh-uh, this could be her ex, all right, as well. They all lied on you. The, the ones that want to reconcile, they all lied on you. Start seizing them, snooping through readings, stalking, social media. All right, it was determined to take you down. They had, every single, they had everything planned out. Some of you had a Big Mac. 
But they have everything planned out on how they're going to set you up and take you down. They did and get your kids taken away from you. Yup, they sure did. They sure did. Yup, Baruni, absolutely. They did. Yup. Why would you want to be friends with someone like that? Why would you want to be cool with someone like that? I change. I'm not like that no more. I don't trust you. You dangerous. You dangerous as hell. I can't have you around me. You quick to try to ruin what I got going on because you ain't happy with your life and then you assinuating and assuming that I'm doing all this to you because I got my life together. It's like I have to be, you know, put, I got to be like down under you in order for you not to do shit to me. Like I can't have you as a friend. You dangerous. Like I said, I never met nobody like this in my life. I have. I'm not going to say it in my life, but I haven't really met people like this ever since, for, for you know, since my whole my whole life, if I'm making sense, like, since I became spiritual, I've been meeting, like, narcissistic demons. You get what I'm saying? But it's like, I haven't dealt with people in my lifetime since I've been living for 26 years. I have never in my life dealt with such narcissists like this. Even with my own children's father, like, he, you know, they showed me the type of narcissist that he is. I ain't gonna lie to you. Because after I was dealing with these damn karmic, especially these karmic friends, okay, because they could be narcs too, I started realizing, like, ooh, he was just like that too. He was just hiding it. You know, I was in the dark. I was. I was in the dark. And I did trust the wrong people. But y'all get what I'm trying to say? Like, I have not dealt with cuckoo-ness like this. Like, these type of people that will lie in your face just so they won't get caught. Like, uh-uh, you, you, you got some trauma. On you. you got something. It's like it's, your issues are bigger than me. And I'm staying away from you. Okay, I'm staying away from you. But we have a will. I'm getting, if there's a will, there's a way. You have strong, um, you have strong willpower here. Yeah, look, resilience here. I feel like you have enough willpower to remove whatever is, is, is holding you back or whatever is keeping you weighed down. All right, I feel like these karmics was like purposely put, placing a lot of heavy energy on you. All right, no, 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 no. Well, they was, they was. But when I'm about, this is God testing you. God purposely allowed this energy to happen. Well, this I, he allowed these karmics to do what, what they did to you as far as, like, you feeling, like, heavy energy and sometimes you feel heavy burdens and stuff. It ain't the spells. It's the heavy burning energy. You feel like you got a whole bunch of weight on your back or your shoulders, a whole bunch of monkeys on your back. Spirit, all right, and God allowed this to happen to test you, Okay? To see if you're going to push forward or you're going to give up. And I feel like, honestly, you guys mirrored perfection. Like, you guys did it. Like, you overdid it. You overdid good. That's what I'm getting. You super passed. All right? Sometimes I'm seeing something being mirrored to you. And this is a good mirror. Like, I don't know what I'm getting with this. Two of the same. But, yeah, it's like, yeah, I feel like it's a, yeah, some type of, um, maybe this is like a different outcome, all right? Like, you guys, maybe you guys thought that this was never going to end, but it did. You guys could create a new outcome, Okay, because it's like, it's um, this says waxing gibbous four, and this says waning gibbous four. And it looks like it's the same. Is it? No, it's not. I thought it was like the same type of moon, but just opposite. All right, this, yeah, that could be what it is. It's coming, we're trying to say that y'all the same, but opposite. Y'all ain't the same at all. Y'all are opposites, though, but y'all definitely ain't the same. All right, yeah, I'm, listen, I can't make it up. Self-reflection. It was reflected on how y'all the same. How y'all opposites. All right, but y'all just the same. All right, what made y'all opposites? The spirit, but how, and then and how y'all the same? I don't get it. Well, because they're trying to say, like, y'all have the same gifts. No, y'all don't. This could have been a third party. Y'all not the same. This could have been a friend. Y'all are not the same. No, y'all are not. Y'all are not the same. This card reflected on you being a star, and they were just like, damn, I want to be like that. I want to be like you. That's, that's what that was. All right, you could have told them, you know, just show gratitude, love yourself. You know, utilize your free will to show gratitude, to give thanks. That's the one of the best things that you can do. This mofo got mad. They feel like you hiding secrets. You're not telling them the real deal of how you became powerful or how you found your mission on this planet. They're stupid. I don't know. I don't. I don't know who this person is. It's like 
As far as like where their mind is at, I should say, I don't know where their mind is at. Listen, boundaries, okay? It's like you guys set boundaries and these karmas didn't like that. So they're like, I'm going to send you a whole bunch of heavy energy. And God uh, allowed that energy to, well, allow that to manifest. It's to see if you was going to overcome and conquer and you did. Like I said, the spell didn't manifest, but you felt a lot of heavy energy. What you felt was their energy. And, and God and the Spirit allowed you to feel that energy to see what you're going to do. All right, you was tested, man. These karmas was here to test you to see if you really ready. All right? All, you know, those lifetimes that you experienced with them to get you to where you are right now in this new age, God wanted to see, are you truly ready? Are you truly ready before we let them fall off? I want to know if you ready. All right? Even, like, even if you ain't ready, they still going to be, you know, bullshit. But you are a part of their lesson. So I need you to be ready so I can get ready to fuck them up. I keep cursing. So I can get ready to mess them up. Okay? And y'all was ready. Look, peace. Y'all did find inner peace. That's you winning. I told y'all. Y'all gonna find that inner peace if you didn't yet, but you will. Self-reflection and peace, they're reflecting on how you are peaceful and how you are happy to start this new beginning. They're trying to say you're mad at your new beginning. Why would you be mad at that? Like, I'm telling you, a karmic was crazy. You would say, I'm focused on my new beginning. They'd be like, you hating on your new beginning. You don't want your new beginning. You just want to destroy me. They says, I'm telling y'all, I can't make it up. They, somebody said that they was that damn desperate. To make you feel bad that they said something stupid like you don't you don't want your new beginning. I I feel like that was also another excuse that they created in their mind just so they can take from you by saying you don't want this, you are ungrateful, all you want to reap is the benefits of it or stuff like that. Listen, your new beginning is protected, your sovereignty is protected, and your power is pure. But your 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 protection is purity, it's pure. All right, these people want it's like you have dark protection. But they, and these karmas are scared. They thinking your dark protection is going to kill them. Why are they doing stupid shit? <laughs> All right, but it's like your your protection is pure. Like it's good dark protection. Like they're not going to kill this person, but they all going to threaten them. Like you doing a death spell. <clears throat> you better think three times. And even when they do it, spirit don't kill them. But spirits send their death spell back. Period. Because God tell them to. All right, you guys have a lot of power. Don't give up. Don't give up on your power because this karmic wants you to give up on your power. No, they asked is going to have to surrender. And, and and they need to surrender the change. That change could be that they're going to, it's like, they have to be patient in life. They can't be rushing. A lot, for a lot of you guys, your karma is not patient. That's why they wanted to take from you because they're like, oh, well, you already have what I'm looking for. I don't want to do no work. All right, so they was like rushing, but they need to be patient. All right, and I feel like their biggest fear is being stuck in fear. I feel like this person's in fear. They are they are in fear a lot. While you're blossoming and blooming, they are stuck in fear and in this void. Lonely. This void that they created for themselves. This is not the dark void. All right, it's not the cosmic womb. This is a cold void, a cold, empty void full of monsters and entities that's here to attack this person. This void is in their mind. Look, this could be a masculine. I was actually feeling that. All right, that is a masculine, specifically, that is stuck in fear and depression. These female karmics, if it's female, they could be in this energy too, but they, like, they really know how to mask it. You really won't tell. All right, unless you, like, intuitive and you can feel it. All right, but they know how to mask it. And I feel like some of y'all could definitely feel like the females are depressed. Okay, but it was a masculine too. He realizing that he fucked up in life and he, and he ain't getting you back. He's depressed. He could be just be, be depressed because he ain't getting you back. But everyone's having a shocking realization that you're going to always remain nourished and taken care of by the cosmos. Because you are this cosmic egg. I told y'all this. I'm getting y'all um, come from a cosmic egg. But this cosmic egg, I'm just getting like, you're just cosmic. Okay? You're just cosmic. All right? And growth. And you're growing a lot into, you know... Fulfillment and abundance here and uh, expect and a lot of unexpected blessings. All right. Expect the unexpected. So when that unexpected come, think back when Shauna Starseed said, dang, you know, I just, you know, she did say expect the unexpected and I was not expecting this blessing. All right. That's how you properly receive your manifestations is, is through unexpectedness. You don't want to expect when it's coming. All right. Because then you may mess it up. Just let it come when it's supposed to. You guys got your power back times too. I don't... I don't know what they was thinking. That's probably what they saying to themselves. Like, I don't know what I was thinking. Like, for me to steal somebody else's power. No, but they, and then that's when they realized, like, I really thought that you stole it from me in a past life. <laughs> and then you'd be like, what demons you had on you? And they'll tell you. 
They'll probably tell you what demons they had on their asses, too. They'll probably tell you. All right, because they know exactly what they was doing. They know exactly what was going on. Okay? This damn angry-ass karmic that's scared. They're scared. All right, it's like, right when I, I'm, I'm about to turn off this video, and it's almost like I'm feeling a karmic scare. Like, don't turn it off. Like, I need you. Nuh-uh. I'm not, you can't hold me at night like a teddy bear because you afraid at night. Uh-uh. Any toxic essence here, you got to go. You was not afraid when you was playing with them spells. Don't be afraid now because the spells is after you. Don't be afraid of no demon. And I'm going to give you one word of advice. Don't fear the demon. Don't fear the demon. And don't fight the demon either. Because all it's going to do is, is make it mad. Don't fear it, though. Okay, and don't be, don't try to be a part of the demon. But you not fearing it will help it release, help it be released. You can keep praying to God. You can, I recommend that too. No, God is probably not going to, you know, approve of you being released of the demon right away because it is a lesson you need to learn. So don't expect it to happen overnight. It may take a few, a few weeks or so, but you need to repent. All right, you need to repent. Period. Don't mess with no demons, man. Them, them demons will eat you alive. And if you use your free will to conjure a demon, don't expect the angels to come and clean it up. Don't expect that. And it's not easy to send demons back into the underworld because they like being free. That's why we say, don't do it. You don't know where you tapping into in the underworld. You could be tapping into a whole fucking jail cell. Letting go inmates. Letting them free. These rapist ass spirits. Pedophile spirits are just letting free, robbing, murder ass spirits. And don't ask no dumb question like, why would God keep those spirits there? Why would you want to conjure a spirit here on this planet to attack somebody else who you don't like? And then when it gets sent back to you, you confuse. It's going to be sent back to you regardless, though. Because demons are multidimensional, too, and they can, they can antagonize you and the person you sent them to. Yes, they can. Don't be thinking that multidimensional stuff only matters to higher beings. No. People got this spiritual world effed up. They can ain't no demons more. Demons can utilize their third eye too. But some demons' third eye is blocked. And they delusional as hell. Some of them. Like these damn karmics. All right, but majority of into demons are intelligent. They know how to fucking utilize your mind on you. That's where the mind games and the tricks come in. They know how to lie to you. I had demons try to, yeah, demon people try to say that I had demons telling me about, you know, my ancestors being whales. And there's cars that support that. Whale ancestors. Orca ancestors and elders. They won't say that's a demon. They want to say it's a demon telling me. But my ancestors, why, why, what benefit is the demon getting out of telling me that? Especially if it's true. There is no demon. Y'all the demons. So, you know, y'all just don't allow anyone to come into your life and convince you that you got demons on you because you're speaking some truth that they can't handle. All right, or your light irritates their demons. Don't allow them to do that. And don't allow them to scare you either. Okay, because demons love to try to scare you, and especially these 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 human demons. They love to scare you, so they can feed fear. If we feed off of you, we'll feed off of your fear. Feed off of you, and they feeding off of that fear, that fear of, you know, them you being wrong and and them being right. You know, them saying like, oh, you better not do this because this that, and the third. Now you in fear. You gave them all your power because you listen to believe them. I'm telling you, that's what demons do, in the in the spirit. They will trick, lie, or do whatever they have to. It's not always tricking and lying, but they'll do whatever they have to to feed fear off of you. Feed off of you, or feed off of you, and they're feeding off of that fear. And these human demons do the same. They will scare you to feed off of your power, to keep you in fear. I'm telling you, these are demons that these people have in their heart. They're not angels. They be walking around here saying, I'm an angel. No, you're not. You're a devil in, um, in disguise. You're a devil in disguise. You know you evil. You know you plot and you say wicked stuff just to get a reaction. And that reaction is, is fear-based. So you can feed off of that person to have power. A lot of these demons be trans... Listen, fear can be transmuted too. A lot of these karmas like to transmute that fear into power. 
Why you think we say demons feed off of fear? That's their power. The, the, your fear. Because now they got control of you. They can do whatever they want to you because they got your power. You fear that, that they're right. So you giving them everything. Don't listen to these demons roaming around in these spiritual streets or in, in, in the actual streets of this planet. There's a lot of demons. It was Once upon a time, there was more demons than divine beings. And now it's a lot more divine beings incarnating and a lot of these demons are perishing. And they don't like it. That's why they're coming back full force. Group setting and all that. Okay? Because they know their time is up. And they figure team effort will make the dream work and it ain't making it work because them group rituals are still failing. All right, one divine being can take out 10 karmics, depending on how strong and balanced that divine being is. These karmics will try to confuse us, lie to us, get to our, our heart by attacking the ones that we love. Yes, yes, they would do that shit. Yes, they would. All right, I had karmics try it with me. I, was, I knew something was weird. Look at this, the hangman. They need to stop it. They need to hang it. They need to hang and stop whatever it is that they're trying to do because I'm, I'm telling y'all right now, it ain't going to work. Y'all demons. Y'all are demons. Y'all have demon hearts. Okay? I, I don't care about that nice streak you had. You was probably, okay, you had a, all right, let, you was nice a few times. Okay? Maybe you had a good few years of your life where you was like walking in light. All right? But you still had that devil and the angel on your shoulder. You didn't let go of that devil. Okay, you were still listening to that devil throughout the years of you being nice and in light. You know you did more dark than, e uh, than good, okay? More dark and evil than love and light. You know you've done it, all right? Because if, if, if that was the case, you wouldn't feel so comfortable to do so much wicked. It's like this person, darkness outweighs their light. So if they try to tell you, I did this, I did that, blah, 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 blah. It don't add up or matches, all right, or balance out their wicked and evil, this person always been evil. Don't allow them to confuse you and lie to you by showing you, see, I did this. I did that. I helped this one. That one. It was all them helping that person was a manipulation. They 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 was using that person to get something out of it. This person, whatever they're showing you, just proving to them, proving to them or proving to you that they're a good person, that was just for their own fulfillment. It wasn't to help. It was for their own fulfillment to say exactly what they're saying now. You see, I did this. I did that. Now give me my credit and admit that I'm better than you. Nah, man, and, and, and they're losing that credit. They're about to be discredited. All right, none of that credit is even going to matter because they're not healed, and people are going to say that. I don't care about all that extra stuff. If, until you heal, you can't say nothing about anyone, and that's facts. All right, but I love y'all so much. Namaste.